Hello and welcome to the Vasilia Roman channel. My name is Michael and today we continue our campaign in Europa Universalis 4. This is the antebellum modification and we are still playing as Francia. Well guys, I have to tell you, as you might remember in the, in the end, while I was finishing the previous episode, there was this issue with Aragon being both Wassel of me and Andalusia and through console commands I actually released them from Andalusia yet again and made them my Wassel properly the way it was in the beginning of the episode and for a second it was okay but then I loaded the save and apparently they again became both Wassel of myself and Andalusia automatically so the bug just reproduced itself for some reason and I don't know how to deal with that. I have to honestly tell you that I was thinking about abandoning this campaign and for a couple of days I wasn't uploading anything, I wasn't recording anything, I was really thinking about starting something new instead of continuing this one because God only knows what we might encounter in the future what kind of bugs there might be and whatever but I think we should still continue through the console commands I annexed Aragon that was the only way to prevent Andalusia from having them as a wassail and annexing them in the, in the future I couldn't annex them any other way because there was this modifier that would allow me to do that only in 10 years so that not, that's not a good thing and in order to avoid it I just annex them right away into my state. I understand it's a kind of cheating, kind of not really nice thing. I understand that completely and that's why I wanted to finish this campaign to be honest but well it still was pretty interesting campaign and pretty interesting run at least for me so I thought that despite this hiccup, despite this problem we might still want to continue this campaign and if there, there are any disgusting bugs in the future, even worse than this one, I don't know, maybe something with Ming or whatever, because in the new patch there is this new, whole new deal in this region, there are new provinces, there are new tags, there's whole new empire of Yuan and a lot of Chinese miners in the south, new states, new provinces and like I still have Ming and they still manage to get all the provinces properly that should have belonged to them and I don't know how it will work in the future but we shall see we shall see, let's play and let's pray to the gods of I don't know what's that Aaron Jesus or whatever it is bug gods where they are, that nothing disgusting, nothing of the sort that we had would happen again. So let's continue. In the previous episode we helped our Imperial subject of Saxony with their crusade in the Vendish region and they managed to subdue many uh, pagans, Slavic pagans in the what is today Eastern Germany and Western Poland. But we also managed to mostly put our economy back on track despite still having loans we are making money. And I think now we are ready to go against the Andalusians yet again. No, I won't let you go through my lands. Mm, an argument has broken out in the in court over the importance of the musket compared to traditional archery regiments, with the hopes of convincing Emperor Charles the Eleventh that their role in the army is not becoming obsolete. A group of veteran archers have put on a pr an impressive demonstration. Their grace, skill, and accuracy was admired by many who were present. 
Okay, let's go for this one. Others suck, kind of. Uh, others suck. That's like... Until the death of our monarch, military technology costs plus 5%, that's disgusting. Or losing 15 army traditional, which is also disgusting. That we can go just for 10 military power, that's okay. Now, we are sending our army south. One to... Where exactly? One to Tarragona and other to Madrid. And from there we shall dictate our will to the Andalusians. So, here we go. Now let's declare war on them right away. Because why not? Now wait a second. Galicia is not yet our vassal. I thought they are. Now they aren't, and they're also not willing to be our vassal due to due mostly to the distance between the borders. Yeah, well, we might wanna uh, get a couple of provinces from the Andalusians for ourselves, for ourselves, say from here all the way to here and here, if we have enough war score, and that way we'll get borders with these guys. And then we shall vassalize them. Another thing is, I might want to give a couple of these provinces to Castile, and then I'll sell these provinces to Galicia. Anyway, I won't ask them to join. I can win this war perfectly on my own. We shall choose Valen Valencia as the war goal. And there we go, right away to Valencia, and from here to Toledo. I mean, at this point, they're just, just some beating bug for us. Now, I hate when this happens. I gave him an order to go to Valencia, but he just stopped and instead started to occupy the province right before it. As far as I know this was introduced in order to uh, stop AI from crossing the forts despite the forts blocking the path. But this also makes the life of the human players a lot more difficult. I mean AI just ignores the limitations that are put on them by the rules of this game for some reason but because of the pro problems with the AI now the human player suffers as always paradox can't fix their own problems can't fix their own bugs now okay it will soon go away and I can give it to you. We unfortunately can't really use, or can we? Let's take a look. Total. Okay, we can't really use our fleet. Their fleet is quite a lot stronger than ours. So we are besieging Valencia and Cordoba right now. We took Toledo, Almanza, Albacete, Medina La Cant, and even Casquer. Now the siege of Valencia is over. Let's go further. Well, it's, the war just started and we already have 38 war score. That's pretty good. Basically, we are smacking them. We are putting their ugly face into mud. Because they deserve it. Wait a second. So... The goddamn Asturias declared war on them as well. So they might, might be taking some provinces from them, which is not acceptable. 
So we gotta take everything that borders Asturia in order to prevent them from taking those provinces for themselves. Now let's send this army to here. And once they take this province we'll send them to Evora. Increase demand for books. Books from Paris fetch a very good price in foreign as well as domestic markets lately. So much so that it has given rise to a new generation of entrepreneurs and econ economic speculation. We should step in and limit any excesses. Local goods modifier plus 15%, trade value modifier plus 15% or we can get all of that plus local goods produce 0.25 but that would give us local unrest plus 4 as well as 25% chance of losing one base production in Paris. I would rather go for this option. More safe option. Better safe than sorry as they say. Now let's split this army a wee bit. So they can only go this way. That's disgusting. Matter what they are. Disgusting or not, we shall prevent the Asturians from taking everything, or rather anything, from these guys. Let's go here. So, Siege of Evora is over. Or instead, we can just send this army here and this army here. One of our military leaders died, and there's parallel authority. The bourgeoisie are not the sole authority within their cities. The clergy also have a strong presence in most big cities, going back to their initial founding. Conflicts sometimes arise when the councils of the bourgeoisie implement the rules that the clergy disapprove of. Such conflicts have become more and more commonplace, and members of the clergy are openly acting in defiance of the of the various rules the bourgeoisie have agreed upon in their cities. Delegates from various cities dominated by the bourgeoisie are now urging us to clarify the situation. Okay, let's rather support bourgeoisie because with pleasure we have a lot more loyalty which we can afford to lose. So, there's the administrative technology, great, let's send these guys to their respective provinces. Great. Now what would be a kind of cog block move on my part would be to take everything that borders the Asturias, that way we will block them from taking anything. That would be very, very, very good to be honest. That we shall see. Because the problem is we are probably not having enough war score to take everything. And we're probably not going to have enough war score due to these guys taking some of their provinces. But we shall see how it goes. So there's one loan that we can repay and then there's two of them left. Dortmund plea for help with rebellious nobles. Again this event. I would rather lose some imperial authority, sorry. Now let's see what we can take for ourselves here. Ooh, that's pretty expensive actually and they wouldn't even accept it anyway. 
Damn. Damn, son, that's like really expensive stuff. I mean, I would have agree on something like this, but damn. I mean, look at that, that's really expensive. And that would require us to have 93. 93 war score, and that's just not something there. Ready to give us. To give us. Let's help them with that. And let's hope that they will leave as soon as possible. So. Occupied by Albion? Really? England! This is not the timeline in which you get the control over the. How it's called? Gibraltar. Gibraltar, dear God. Gibraltar, it's called. That's just not the reality, not the timeline. You only managed to take this province in some other timeline, but not in this one. Now let's try to intercept them, if possible. Oh goddamn nobility again. Go love yourself, nobility. You are disgusting. Not even with the whole might of their army can they stop me. That should be a stack wipe. Oh god damn it. The Emperor is dead. Well at least they they've chosen a Carolingian yet again. But yeah, we destroyed their army actually. That's cool. Let's see if they're willing to give me the peace treaty that I am asking from them. Not yet. Not quite there yet. Now let's go to Lyon. I'm okay with that. Seventy-three. Now, maybe if we try to loot their cities, they will be more agreeable. Let's see. We can take some gold from Kartuba. Okay, first from here and then from Kartuba. Now let's just sit on their cities and take money from them. I would rather not loot the cities that I will take in the peace treaty, though. Lombardy took something that they were not supposed to again. Chambery. Lombardy, 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 you are annoying. You really are. You're really getting on my nerves. I can tell you that much. Now let's get another general. Benoit Dusson. Oh god damn, he's terrible. He's absolutely terrible. A useless general. Leave me alone. Well, this Karduba city has quite a lot of loot. They are at 76. 
wall score already. I'm okay with that Saxony and then we can get new technology. There we go. Looting enemy cities helps with the war score as well as the war how it's called war exhaustion. The more you loot their cities, the more exhausted their country and economy becomes and that way you make them a lot more willing to accept your peace treaties even if they are above the war score. Let's rather ease the tensions, why not? Okay, god damn, now way too many of them took lands that they were not supposed to. Okay, I guess I will be declaring war on these boys. They're just too strong and I will have to take their lands anyway. Now, okay, there's still some gold in, in this province and in this one as well. Okay, so you go here and you can go here. Now let's see if they're willing to accept my peace treaty right now. Yes, they are. But I would also like to get all of your gold. I mean, apart from that, that are already taken by looting your cities. Oh, great. Even the Iron Jesus of random events is on my side. Ain't that beautiful? Go here. Okay. There's the autosave and there we go to yet another province to get some money for ourselves. Money is good. And another thing as Chewy Shirt taught me, always try to loot the provinces that are not in the fort range. Those very slowly regain their prosperity and that way you make the enemy enemy's economy suffer like really bad for example this province Shilb it has no access to any forts around so it will not re replenish its prosperity anytime soon that means that we shall be trying to loot the hell out of it. Okay, I can take at least... F what did you take? Okay, you didn't take anything that is not yours. Everything you took is yours. Which means that you are lawfully controlling those provinces. I have no problems with that. The Evangelican Union. So now there's the event that will allow us to declare war on the Protestants. After Emperor Philip I rejected the Protestant confessional positions at the Imperial Parliament, the Protestant Imperial Estates formed the League of Schmalkalden. Schmalkalden. No idea how to pronounce that properly with a joint army and treasury and seeking ties abroad. The German Catholic states feeling threatened by this new alliance have grouped have were grouped into a Catholic League. The stage is set for for religious conflict in, in the Empire. I'm okay with that. Okay, so you go to Evora.
85%. So we shall loot Ribatejou. And then we shall finish the war because I'm pretty sure now they will be willing to accept the peace treaty. Yes, they are willing. Now look at this motherfuckers. Just look at this crap. They took Gibraltar. Like, they legitimately, legitimately took Gibraltar from the Andalusians. You are disgusting, England. You are disgusting. I will declare war on you in the next episode, I can assure you. I will take it for myself. You won't be even able to make a fucking core. I'm telling you. So we get core on Aviero. Where is Aviero? Oh, that's cool. So maybe I wouldn't be giving it to these guys after all, they're the only these two provinces. Okay, so we finish with that. Now, boy. There we go. That's the best treaty we're going to get. Not the perfect one, but we'll do it for now. Now let's send our armies back. Now we... I hope we completely cold-blocked them so that they wouldn't be taking anything from anyone, but who knows. Now what we want to do is to wassalize these boys and they are willing to be our wassals after all. Yes. Very nice. Let's improve relationships with them and also maybe influence them and give them some stuff. Also this thing happening. Okay, let's repay all of our loans. That's quite a lot of money, actually. Circulation of hostile publications. When printing was a novelty, it first attracted those who would create codices. The hell is codices? No idea. It's great works of art or philanthropists who wanted to spread the knowledge of the classics in a more accessible format. Soon, however, others joined the ranks less scrupulous men who would make a living slandering others. Ever since printing started to mature as a business, presses all over Europe have been available for demagogues to spin their webs of lies. Piles of pamphlets lie ready to be dis distributed to anyone who will believe them as we speak. In Ile-de-France in particular, this otherwise so promising technology has been put to use as a means to spread vicious slanders about our emperor and other mind state. This cannot be tolerated. Yes, this can be tolerated because we need this support. Now, let's wassalize these guys if possible. Can we influence them? Yes, we can. Yes, we can and we will. Then we can give them military access now puts us at 175 oh god damn it, we're losing money like real fast due to this corruption thing i mean i will give those provinces to my wolves anyway why bother now leave me alone Okay, we can get this thing. Missionary strength is always useful. Now, it's 1 hour 79, we shall guarantee them. That puts us at 1 hour 89. Oh, fuck you, nobles, just fuck you. And your demands, you are disgusting. Oh, now they don't want to be my vessel. <sighs> okay. Can we do that? Why not? Ah, oh, we already have the highest trust, I see. Damn it. Okay, we get this guy should help, I hope. Will ya? 
God damn it, just one point. Just one point. Okay, there was this thing somewhere. There we go. No stability for us, but well, what can you do? Yes, finally they accept you. Now let's uh, give these provinces to them. Because why not? Galicia, Grand Province of Porto, Grand Province of Bragans, Grand Province of Beira, and Grand Province of Aviero. There you go. And to Castile, we shall give Province of Toledo. Yes. And shall we give this province on? I don't know. It depends on what we're going to do with the Asturias. I mean, if we wish to attack them and take something from them, then I guess we might give Zamora and Salamanca to Castile and everything else will just fossilize or something. Okay, let's do that. Placencia. And this will be mine. We shall core them when we have enough admin power. Now let's send our boys back to somewhere, to Valencia and Barcelona. Okay, we we are doing well. I mean, just we would have been able to completely destroy the Andalusians, but due to the limitations of the game and the fact that it just doesn't allow us to take more lands in this treaty, we just have to slowly grind through these wars all the time, as annoying as it is, but what can you do? There's nothing you can do as sad as it is, but anyway. Okay, let's go for Mantua Sanjit of Francia. Oh, I don't think I should do that. I would rather build a manufactory in Bordeaux. But yeah, whatever. Since we finished this war, I think that's a great moment for us to simply end this episode, because why not? We'll do some stuff in the next one. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.